So the last few items that I'm going to show you are shoes. If you don't know me, I have definitely a huge obsession with shoes. It doesn't matter if it's like a, you know, um, a designer brand or just affordable shoes. Oh my gosh, it's, um, it's kind of a bit sunny, so the lighting is a little bit messed up right now. But please don't mind. <laughs> so let's start off with the shoes that I have that I actually got from New Yorker. So my brother and I went to the New Yorker. I think it was the beginning of April or the second week of April but we went to the New Yorker and I got two shoes from there New Yorker is actually a very affordable um, clothing line clothing shoes accessories um, those are the things that I actually sell in their store so I got two shoes that are definitely identical just in different color here they are and they are definitely very affordable this is not definitely the most comfortable shoes that you can definitely find out there. But what can you expect if this shoe is only for 5 euro? Yes, you heard it right. It's only 5 freaking euro. So I've actually worn these shoes a couple of times now. That's why it looks dirty. <laughs> because I actually doesn't want to wear it. But I need something like to go with my outfit. That's something that's also very easy to wear. So as you can see, it has no lace on it, nothing. You just put in your fit there and yeah, voila, you're good to go. So I really like the color as well. I don't have a baby pink color um, rubber shoes. So this is definitely comes in handy to be added on my shoe collection because it's so freaking adorable. So here's the other one. As you can see, it still has a tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. And I'm on the size 36 by the way. Normally with this particular shoes, I always go on the size 37. But they are a little bit bigger than what I normally have on the rubber shoes. Probably, I don't know, maybe it's in their brand. Because if you if I'm going to compare it with my, with my um, Nike shoes and other brand, you know, they're a little bit on the designer brand. 37 is the right size for me. If I go on the size 37 of this one, which I tried in the store, it's way too big. So that's why I end up just getting the size 36. That's a lot of explanation. Word. But yeah, so I really like this color. It definitely suits a lot of outfits, especially if you're wearing just a very casual dresses or you're just wearing a jeans or a trouser. This one can go with it. I definitely had some... Uh, water break because I was running out of voice for some reason and so let's finish up this video by showing you the last three pair of shoes that I received during my birthday and let's see where are we going to start so let's start off with Aldo this is my very per first, <laughs> first. <laughs> this is my very first uh, pair of shoes from Aldo, and this one retails for seventy euro, and it has like thirty percent off when I actually um, uh, got this, and this is called Isidia. That's the name of the shoes. I decided with the shoes because I actually wear these shoes during my birthday, so you actually have seen already my. A vlog during my birthday with my boyfriend when we went to um, City Plaza in Yvachain and as well as in the center to buy I didn't actually film that part I think no I didn't but anyhow so going back to the shoes so the box is adorable it comes with a handle adorable and this is just simply a very basic type of shoes which in my opinion by the way it comes with this um this paper thing right here to cover the shoes to protect it forever is going to about to happen <laughs> all right so this is how they look like it's just a very classic palms that you definitely cannot go wrong um having like loads of palms in your shoe collection comes in handy because you can definitely pair up this 
um, lovely shoes in different outfits whether you're wearing a dress or a trouser it's still gonna look good even underneath your jeans you know it's gonna look really pretty on a lot of outfits and for so many reasons I don't have <clears throat> like a lot of pumps I have definitely pumps but in some weird bright colors I don't honestly know why I don't have like the nude color just a, you know like a very classic color that almost all girls girls got that girls own so yeah I finally got my uh, very first pair of nude pumps and from Aldo as well it definitely feels very comfortable on your feet when you wear it I wear it um, during my birthday the whole day and it felt absolutely amazing on your feet for something like so new this shoes definitely feel comfortable I don't have any pain on my feet or on my ankles it's so comfortable and as I said this one retails for 70 euro if you can find this one definitely uh, grab yourself a pair of shoes from Alda because they're very comfortable so yeah it has a very pointy uh, part right here which I love on my palms I don't like this kind of round kind of nose type of uh, tip of the shoes I just don't like them so the next pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you is from the brand called <coughs> Call it spring. The box is quite similar to the Aldo. Um, it just didn't came with a handle, as you can see. Um, when I actually my, when my boyfriend got the shoes from me, I thought it was from Aldo. It, this one is also on sale and it has thirty percent off. It's exact same price as the Aldo. That's why I thought that it was also from the brand Aldo, which I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought that I have to pair of shoes from the same brand but apparently not but I'm going to show you how it looks like so this is how the box looks like <clears throat> and by the way it comes with this, this paper thing right here so it's another pair of palms as you all can see and this in black as you can see it's definitely very identical to the Aldo one that I recently have shown you that's why I thought it was from Aldo but I wasn't really paying attention that it wasn't from the brand i thought that the, i saw of course the name called called it spring but i thought it means like um it was their spring collection or something but it was actually the brand i just actually realized it when it arrived here in our place so it was a little bit pity but hey i'm still not uh bad because it's really a beautiful shoe it has no damage on it whatsoever i haven't tried it yet so you can see the underneath uh, is still very clean so i haven't tried it yet i haven't worn it yet and i'm it definitely feels comfortable i fit it on when it arrived and i'm the size 36 by the way and so with this particular normal shoes um sandals high heels or pumps i always uh choose the size 36 because it just fit perfectly so other than the fact that I'm disappointed set from Aldo, I think it's a very beautiful shoe still. I'm still gonna hunt the one from Aldo because um, as I said, the other one is so comfortable. I don't know how uh, it's, it's gonna wear when I actually um, try them on like walking So out. last but certainly not the least is a pair of shoes from the brand Steve Madden. <laughs> I still cannot stop laughing every time that I say Steve Martin because it reminds me of my boyfriend like he's always teasing me when I actually receive the shoes when we're about to order the shoes he's making fun of me and he's making that kind of weird accent from the movie Wolf of Wall Street if you watch that movie if you have seen that movie you know what I'm talking about because I'm Steve Martin it's just like that so, <laughs> so it really it's kind of get um, a little bit stuck in my head how my boyfriend always tells me every time I said Steve Madden so but anywho regardless with that <laughs> this is the shoes from Steve Madden it's my very first Steve Madden shoes and this one is called the Meg Sandal it's kind of cool because all the shoes that I bought are actually having particular names on it I forgot to mention the call it spring wait a second I'm gonna get it for you guys just in case that you want to get it yourself this is called free win free win free win 
Alright, so going back to the Steve Modern shoes, um, just nothing any spectacular with the box. It's just your normal, typical shoe box. <laughs> so this one retails for 109 euros, so minus 30% off. There's a 30% off going on on the side, that's why we're gonna get our board. <laughs> So anywho, let me show you how it looks like. It comes with this paper wrapping thing here going on to cover and protect your shoes. <clears throat> so I receive all dishes perfectly in full perfect condition. There's none of them that has damage or scratch whatsoever, which I really love. So the shoes looks like this. <laughs> So this is looks like this and it's definitely a really pretty ride. Um, my boy was skeptical when I actually told him that I want these shoes because it's it, it was red. It was actually really um, very red on the picture and the website but when we received it torn between red and orange to be honest it's not like a very you know like a red blood color. <laughs> It's really torn between orange and red. So my when my boyfriend saw it in person, he doesn't mind anymore because he actually liked that it's not extremely red because he's skeptical to get this because he's not a huge fan of red color, he said. <clears throat> but yeah, it turns out that he really likes it and I really like it. Whether he likes it or not, I, re I need it, I want it and he needs to get it. <laughs> so there is the Steve Madden um, logo or... Um, and brand emboss on the shoes right there. I don't want to remove this one because it's it's a hassle. I already removed it before when it arrived and it was a hassle to put it back so I'm not gonna do it. But it's from Steve Martin as I said and the also of this one is a lot taller than the other two shoes that I've shown you. So yeah and uh, I haven't wear it yet as you all can see I just tried it on when it arrived but you can see it's still very clean. So that's our wrap for you guys for this collective birthday haul video i am so freaking happy that i finally filmed this and i cannot wait to upload this on this channel so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and i want to thank you all by the way for all the greetings and best wishes during my birthday i really truly appreciate it and for the 180 plus subscribers thank you thank you so much it truly really means a lot and I really hope that you can keep on supporting this channel, our vlog, this whole video and another different kinds of videos that I will be uploading on this channel. So please don't forget to follow me on my other social media network. That would be Instagram and Twitter and uh, Facebook. Those are Amy's Fashion Diary. And follow me on Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> That's Amy Passion Diary. They said that my username is too long, so I need to cut the ad, so it became Amy Passion Diary. But anywho, all the links will be in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. And definitely follow me also on my blog slash website. And that's pretty about it. So I want to wish you all a lovely day, lovely evening, whichever parts of the world you are. And always remember guys, be confident and stay grounded. Bye everyone.